here we go. Cool. Welcome everyone, we are the Grin Brothers, and we're continuing this demo of Mighty Gunball. And by we, I mean Raffi, because he took it away from me before I could even play. Well, you technically took it away from me. My, my controller was player one, so naturally it ended up automatically going towards me. Yes, which was wrong. <laughs> it's also on my Switch, and this is what I demo I downloaded. Because I told you to. Well, I asked wow. which of these did you want to download. Yeah. Yeah, just bring us some more tea. Oh. All right, you can die. Oh, giant! You got new shots then. Your shots became larger. Oh God, fire! No, I just made them large. Okay. And fire kills. Nothing can stop love except fire! Lots of fire! You're dead. Mm -mm. So, you got anything to talk about? Not really. Because I'm just trying to get a bit slim in these subjects. Um, Maybe you're slim to begin with. <laughs> I know, I'm, already, I'm always a skinny fella. You know what? Mum didn't seem to appreciate um, Kiris by uh, bringing back a toffee and chocolate mousse for her to try. Not sure why. Yeah. Oh. It's not like she's on a die or anything. That'd be ridiculous. Yeah. People don't do that. <clears throat> um. Ow. My face. See, I think I was about to try and bring it up in. Um, well, we may have, may not have played the other game. By the time of uploading this mini, I mean, we've so we played it. Yeah, so we we, play, we played a demo of nine parchments. So I mean, this may be uploaded before nine parchments. Who knows? It's oh, a mini. You can't duck and they're ra they're around. random and usually based off whatever Raffi decides to realize. Oh, we haven't done this. I'll just edit it. I don't realize. You realize and then tell me. Um, admittedly, I can edit them at the moment because it's so cold that I could render them. I mean, heck, I rendered that thirty minute video no problem. Um, I love writing this. And appar apparently the one thing we got the uh, Sony Vegas for isn't working for what we intended. Because apparently I edit it even slightly, which of course if I'm going to be actually editing, I might as well put some edits into it. Nah, that's not the way my computer does it. <laughs> apparently uh, Rafi's computer cannot handle that. Wait, no. <laughs> oh, no. That was You could clearly see, it was literally just waiting for you. I'm gonna get but you, I'm I wanted gonna get the you. item. <laughs> Hold on, actually. No, equip it. Ah, uh, I didn't mean to do that. That doesn't curve as well as you'd hope, it does it? It's because it goes too... Too far before it curves. Yeah. But he got ya! He got ya! I can <laughs> change that. Um... So yeah, I think I was going to mention it during the Nine Parchments uh, thing, but I don't know if something can end up sidetracking me from it. Uh, Japan had a... Uh, it, well, Arc System Works in Japan had a Blaz Blue 20th Anniversary character poll. Not 20th. Is it 20th? No, it can't be. 10th Anniversary, it must be. Because Blaz Blue came out during the 2000 period. So yeah, 10th. Or was it 15th? Who cares? It was a time... No, 10th. Yeah, definitely 10th. Because the 360 came out in 2005. So it'd have to at least be uh, within the 2005 sort of, uh, onwards period. Um, so it was like the 10th anniversary of uh, Blaz Blue. So they celebrated with a Blaz Blue character poll. I'm, uh, not like, I'm not, I understood the, 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 the votes were weird in a lot of cases. A couple made me happy in terms of positioning. A lot made me disappointed. You know, unfortunately, I will say that neither Tega nor Arakuna even made the top twenty. What? These people clearly have poor taste. Mm. On the bright side, in a rare occurrence, the main character actually got number one. Ragnar got number one by a huge amount of votes. Oh, that's nice. Apparently, uh, some people are saying it's because uh, I obviously didn't check it too much. Central Fiction actually has a conclusion for him. Ragnar's story ends with Central Fiction in terms of a character arc and everything. 
that's not allowed. And so, yeah, someone said, this just doesn't happen in fighting games. Like, if they were to continue Blaz Blue, it wouldn't make much sense having him as the pivotal focus. I think some people have said. Because Ragnar's story is like, you know, he gets his satisfying ending and everything. You know, his, and his, you know, the character arc and everything. For his character. You know, they have to keep making up reasons for Ryu to keep fighting. And it never made sense in the first place. Yeah. But no, Ragnar's got himself a good end, uh, you know, an ending. Fully realised ending in Central Fiction. Which, the release of Central Fiction is annoying. Because... They released it, but they released it ages away later in the other countries, and they never bothered with a Xbox version, despite releasing every other one on the Xbox. Yeah. In fact, I've not even seen it. What uh, Central Fiction once pop up in store? Okay, okay that time you just walked off. You, 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 the, come on, you did. You just walked off. I pressed B to jump, but I changed B so it no longer jumps. <laughs> Um, but yeah, Ragnar was, took the number one spot. Um, I'll just see if I can bring up. Trollzima took number two, obviously. Yeah. You know, to, uh, that, that, I can understand. Apparently, as per usual with Japanese polls, like, the top seven basically got all the votes, and then the rest, it dwindles dramatically after that. Yeah. Um, let's see here. Yep, Ragnar number one with 6,620 votes. Hazma number two with 4,974 votes. This was really surprising. Hibiki in number third. Hibiki? That's, uh... Duh. The assistant to, um... The pervert character. Yeah. Well, he's a cool dude. Yeah, Hibiki got number third. Of Yuki, Terumi, aka Hazma still, basically, he's got number four. That's kind of a cop out. Um, you like the Marth and Marth situation? Yeah. Or Ike still won that character poll, even with Ike's vote separated by two people. It's because it's Ike. Uh, Jin Kizaragi is number five. Yeah. A couple of these choices are clearly based on the fact that the Japanese got of exclusivity in terms of a lot of this content. Number six is Mai from Blaz Blue Remix Heart. Okay. The uh, gender vendor character. Yeah. Um, number seven is Selica. Yeah, I remember her. Yeah, the, um, she seemed, I don't know, I, I feel with her inclusion, whilst I do like the character, she felt like she was included as a very waifu-esque character in a sense. You know, just the way her character is designed. Yeah. I, eh, she was kind of boring in my opinion. Um, number eight is Noelle. Yeah, you know, makes sense. Classic choice. This one I don't agree with, but number nine is New Thirteen. I think Lambda takes the twelfth spot, but it's like Lambda's just a better version of Thirteen in terms of character. Like all New Thirteen is when you get to a character is basically a crazy psychopathic Yandre. That's why. I didn't Whereas didn't Lambda like is her. got that trait, but she's more realised as a character. Yeah, but people don't want that. They want waifu material. And Sundarus make waifu material. And number 10 is, again, a character with basically a lot of the support in the um, additional stuff. Uh, S from Blaz Blue x Blaze. Never heard of Oh, from that. From the visual novel game. Yeah. She became playable in Central Fiction, along with uh, Mai and the vampire guy, who's also a Blaz Blue x Blaze character. Recording? Yeah, it's... Um, it's uh, Airman. He um, he's a uh, news reporter. Okay. You think being a helicopter, he could do more of his life than that? And, oh my gosh, that's awesome! Actually, records your character fighting. Yeah, he records what you did, mm. which for me was walk back and forth. Yeah. Also messed up. Bang! Bang didn't even place the list. Bang is clearly the best character. And, I mean, I'm an Iron Tiger main, but Bang is clearly the best character. The other characters going from eleven to twenty. Are Makoto, Lambda, Subaki, Rachel, Platinum, Kokonoe, Hakuman, Nine, uh, Naoto, Kuragami, and Bullet. Yeah, I'm not surprised Bullet made it. I still have yet to see official artwork of Iron Taker in the official uniform of his group. Yeah. <laughs> Booty shorts were apparently part of Iron Taker's official uniform for his military group. Oh, 
Oh, come on. I was... That shouldn't have hurt me. Apparently, uh, saying booty shots made me lose my voice there. That's <laughs> a quip. Damn. Um, but gonna yeah. I'm gonna kill So, me. I do wonder if, if the Blasby series is gonna continue forth, or if they are actually ever gonna do... Like, they, they got into the habit of releasing so many additional releases of all the other Blue games, that it's weird that Central Fiction ignored that. I mean, it's better they ignored it, but then it's also a case of... Well, you've not released it on anything but the PS4 so far. Yeah. You know, I, you know, I don't like that in terms... You know, it feels very weird if you've released all your other entries. I mean, it's not like it's a situation like um, Platinum Games. You know, Bayonetta uh, 2 wasn't didn't have the financial backing of Sega. They needed someone to finance them, Nintendo financed them. Sort of like how Street Fighter, the reason it's on PlayStation 4 or, or is because Sony backed them. Yeah. Um, but to my knowledge, I don't know Arc System Works were backed by Sony or anything, as to why it's PS4 exclusive. They might just not have seen it profitable to release on Xbox One, but at the same time, it's kind of sucks for those who are, ex you know, the Xbox owners who enjoy the other Blasbu games and can't get Blasbu Central Fiction to complete the series on their system. I mean, I imagine you'd be getting Central Fiction on the PS4 at some point, but it's like, yeah, I will. The controller really does put me off from trying to play it. I hate this guy. With a passion. Yeah, apparently uh, I think uh, a lot of people weren't a big fan of uh, Airman. Well, it's because his... So when he does the sweep thing, you can't tell if he's going up <clears> or down. I do feel... A... Uh, I really do like how um, they... Add... Well, Aviator. I do like how they added the uh, record feature, you know, given that they don't talk in this game. So they include his whole rapport characteristic elsewhere. Yeah. Um, let's see, things you can talk about. <clears throat> I say in impossible. I was about to say, I, you know, I thought saying you could talk about. Uh, but I realise you're kind of busy at the moment. <laughs> I was going to mention how you've actually gone because it was something I was planning on doing, but I haven't gone around to you. You've actually gone around to watching the Black Clover yes. anime and witnessing how they attempt to improve. Lux is back, sorry. <laughs> There's only so much you can do. <clears throat> With that absolutely atrocious story. Mm. And they couldn't fix it, funnily enough. No one can. <clears throat> I mean, I feel the guy kind of made Lux and then thought, well, I wanted to get to the point where Lux is more interesting as a character. Because Lux actually teaming up with the others does lead to some pretty cool... Elements such as in the tournament. Yeah. Um, that one move decides everything match was actually pretty fun. And it ended terribly for him. Mm. Mm. Dear gosh, he's not even halfway. Now he's... he's... You're invincible whilst you got burst. Yeah. Um, things to talk about. Um... Last resort, uh, apparently there's a competitive Come on to Shrek Super Slam. Oh my god, oh. one hit away, you piece of trash! <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is appropriate dying, as I mentioned, there's a competitive scene to Shrek Super Slam. It's the only response. <laughs> you got slammed! And apparently Little Red Riding Hood is the Meta Knight and is banned from use because she's got an infinite and is too OP. Okay, no, that it's still the point that Shrek Super Slam has a competitive scene for some reason. Yeah, you kind of skipped over the fact that Shrek Super Slam <laughs> Why? has a competitive scene. Why does it have... <laughs> we took... The meme got taken too far at this part stage. Way too far. Um, turn off the album. Also, a version... Also, the, from I watched a few videos of Alpha Rad. Who is mainly a competitive Smash Bros. player. Yeah. But he seems he's also... He's been doing... Uh, a lot of other videos, someone commented that it's because the videos that he does do, which brings in a lot of views, is the How To Smash Brothers, but he doesn't want to do just Smash Brothers. Yeah. So he's just doing... Shrek Super Slam. <laughs> he's be, you know, doing like, this game is like Smash Brothers, the Not series he calls it, like, not Smash Brothers, not Fire Emblem. Yeah. Not Fire Emblem was interesting, because apparently the uh, first uh, Legend of Korra game was actually a Fire Emblem SRPG game. Oh, is that the guy you were watching? Yeah. The one who did the not Pokemon one, which you were certainly interested in. 
Yes. Because suddenly it was Pokemon, but boobs. I mean, yeah. Who wouldn't <laughs> be interested? <laughs> um... You know, I feel like your character's kind of been degraded as we've been doing the series of uh, re recordings. As we starred Grim Brothers. <laughs> Who, me as a person? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> You're the one that set expectations to be. Like, Project Zero suddenly revealed facets of you. Facets is not a term human beings use, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> well, humans made the word. No, I assume. I refuse to believe that. <laughs> you suck, airman. That's all you are, you're a bootleg airman. No, oh, to be fair, my number nine's a bootleg Mega Man, so. Exactly. You suck and no one loves you, you're fine. Right well, don't worry, it's almost the end. Just got this last bit, one way or another. Ow. Um, what was I saying? You're degrading of character, yeah, that's a thing. Um, I never had character to begin with, Liam. <laughs> well, you were known as the pacifist in primary school. Yeah, that's a lie. <laughs> you were known as the well-behaved one who brought peace amongst the group. Always surrounded by friends and loved ones. I hate people. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas just I'm just lonely. Die, Oh, man. so incredibly lonely. Don't rush it, he could be ending up on one health at this rate. Hey, just hey. die! Hey. Why is it one health more than one health? His explosion kills you. One combo. <laughs> yeah. I, I died ten times in that level. Funnily enough, I died more times to that single cliff than... <laughs> yeah, what well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the true boss, Cliff. Ignore that penalty. It doesn't. It's not. Clear. <laughs> Thank you for playing. I didn't even touch either of you. <laughs> Don't look at me, Beck. <laughs> <laughs> element press. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Let's see what element press is. Press is in newspaper. Yeah, but what does it do? Increase the amount of objects that can be destroyed. And exploit enemy weaknesses. Who's weak to By press? dealing greater damage. That's... So right. it's a weak point finder, basically. Yeah, so it's freeze and such. I don't know... So if someone's weak to newspapers... Uh, I guess it's just Mega Man logic. Someone will be weak to it. Oh well. The you know, it's funny. I was going to make a comment, but I realised only British people would understand it. I was going to come in, go. it's the press, it's super effective against Mosley! But only Who? British. The person trying to currently sue newspapers and try to get the Privacy Act enabled so the his, the story he reported of his uh, five-way or German-themed orgy never gets uh, can never be reported on again. That, yeah. Yeah. Um, it was mistakenly he, uh, reported as Nazi-themed, but then again, given the guy's father was a leader of a far-right group, and he made leaflets promoting a far-right group, and was a candidate for said far-right group. Yeah, it makes sense. Whose leaflets include, we must get rid of coloured immigration because it brings about diseases. Like <laughs> yeah. tuberculosis. They are stealing your houses. I um, it's like, why I'm awful. not surprised that the news of the world thought that, he, that his five-way German-themed orgy was a Nazi-themed one. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. But he's trying to get it so that no newspapers can ever, that no person can ever mention it again under Privacy Act. Um, the internet exists, mate. Yeah. It's not going to work. So I don't, and he's part of a group who's basically trying to stop the, you know, limit newspapers. Mm. You know, there's arguments for the newspapers yeah, having. Why isn't award he even newsworthy? I mean, there's limits to. New Vegas exists. <laughs> I mean, sure, there's, you know, understandable reasons to limit the newspapers in cer in certain degrees, you know. Um, they can invade privacy too much, but at the same time, they are very yeah, useful. Yeah, when you break and enter. Yeah, they are, at the same time, very useful for a lot of the privacy, uh, uh, oh, for exposing a lot of the uh, corruption issues. And furthermore, 
the limitation, you know, what's the point of putting all these limitations on newspapers when social media doesn't have any of these limitations? Yeah. Because the big companies, like the Facebook and Twitter, they'll ignore any government response. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, you're just basically taking out on the weaker, on the uh, smaller guy here simply because you can't deal with the bigger threat. Well, bigger threat, you know, the bigger bloke. Chocolate that doesn't taste like garbage. Oh, thank you. There's a whole nut then, or... No. Oh, I was about to say, ah, no nuts, I see. You see, Lindor, Lindor, they make a whole nut bar which is just three blocks, so they can ensure there's a nut in each one. That sounds sad. Anyway. Quite nice. Mm. Um, we're done. Yeah. Cheers, everyone. Bye.